Now we want to simplify radicals where the radicand or the number underneath the radical is not a perfect square and it contains variables. So to simplify the square root of 96 x to the ninth y to the fourth, we need to start by identifying all the perfect square factors of this expression. So we'll start by writing out the prime factorization of 96. 96 is equal to 2 times 48, 2 is prime. 48 is equal to 6 times 8, 6 is equal to 2 times 3, both prime. 8 is equal to 2 times 4, 2 is prime, and 4 is equal to 2 times 2, both prime. Now we'll go ahead and rewrite this square root. So we're going to write 96 as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 factors of 2 and a factor of 3. And then because we're looking for groups of two equal factors, we'll write x to the ninth as x to the second times x to the second times x to the second. That would be x to the sixth times x to the second. That would be x to the eighth times one more factor of x for x to the ninth. And then for y to the fourth, we would have two factors of y squared. And now we'll circle equal factors and groups of two, which will represent our perfect square factors. So here's a perfect square factor. Here's a perfect square factor. x squared is a perfect square factor. And so is y squared. So everything that's circled will simplify. Whatever is not circled will not simplify. And to simplify these, we'll just take one factor from each group. Notice how we'll have a factor of 2 here and here. We'll have 1, 2, 3, 4 factors of x and 2 factors of y. And we still have the square root of 2 times 3 times x, which is 6x. So this simplifies to 4x to the fourth, y to the second, square root 6x. Now we want to simplify negative 2 times the cube root of 54x to the fourth. Because this is a cube root, we're now looking for perfect cube factors. So we'll start by writing out the prime factorization of 54, which would be 9 times 6. 9 is equal to 3 times 3, both prime. And 6 is equal to 2 times 3, both prime. So now we'll rewrite this as negative 2 times the cube root. And then for 54, we're going to write 3 factors of 3 and a factor of 2. And then for x to the fourth, because we're looking for groups of 3, we'll write x to the third times x. And now we'll circle groups of 3, which represent our perfect cube factors here and here. So we still have this negative 2 out here. And then we would have the cube root of 3 to the third, which is 3, the cube root of x to the third, which is x. And then we're left with the cube root of 2 times x, or 2x. So this leaves us with negative 6x to the third, cube root 2x. So while finding the prime factorization method can take a little bit of time, it is very helpful for simplifying radicals. I hope you found this helpful.